the last topic in module 5 is the microwave communication system so microwave communication system uh, deals with the frequency range or the electromagnetic waves in the range of 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz where the overall microwave range is from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz right and uh, SHF that is super high frequency uh, between 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz uh, with the corresponding wavelength of 30 centimeter to 1 centimeter the advantage of the microwave is uh, uh, the large bandwidth so the microwave system in general can be classified into a short haul system and long haul system whereas a uh, short haul system is used for in intrastate communication whereas the long haul system is used for interstate communication system. PSK and QAM are the two uh, major modulation schemes used. Some of the example of your microwave communication systems are your telephone uh, networks in broadcast, TV system, railways etc. Okay. So in this uh, as per your syllabus you are going to study the frequency modulated microwave communication system. The block diagram of your FM transmitter consists of your pre-emphasis network, FM deviator, IF amplifier, mixer, microwave generator. So the output of the mixer will go to your bandpass, right? Okay. And uh, combining network to the uh, RF output. So you have two uh, block diagrams. One is uh, for your FM transmitter and the second one is your FM receiver. Okay. So the input to your FM transmitter will be your baseband input, for example, a composite video signal or an F FDM voice channel. Okay, the baseband input will be given to the pre-emphasis network where uh, your pre-emphasis network is uh, added to amplify your uh, signal. Okay, if that is for extra amplification to your baseband uh, signal, the amplified signal will be given to the next uh, block that is your FM deviator. The FM deviator and the IF amplifier is together known as your modulator uh, circuit or your narrow band FM modulator. Okay, so your carrier frequency is nothing but your in, uh, intermediate frequency that is IF, which normally ranges in the uh, taken in the range of about 60 megahertz to 80 megahertz, and the commonly used value is 70 megahertz. Okay. So in the case of uh, FM deviated, the low frequency will be frequency modulated and your high frequency will be phase modulated. Okay, so it ensures uh, a more signal to noise ratio throughout the frequency range. That is a specialty of this uh, type. Okay, it will be given to the next stage that is your IF amplifier which amplifies the signal. So the low frequency signal, baseband signal will be now converted into your intermediate frequency range signal. Uh, whereas the IF uh, signal uh, amplifier output will be given to the next stage where is your mixer along with your microwave generator. What is happening to this section? Mixing uh, mixer is an up converter that is the IF signal will be now converted into RF that is IF intermediate frequency range signal will be converted now into your radio frequency range signal RF signal high frequency or a microwave frequency uh, signal. Okay. So this is your uh, function of your mixer and your microwave generator. Now the output of the mixer will be given to your bandpass filter where only a particular band of frequencies will be uh, uh, passed or your it is used for band limiting the signal. The output of the bandpass filter will be given to the next section that is called as your channel combiner. So what is meant by combiner? Combining network is used for connecting more than one microwave transmission to a single transmission line feeding which feeds the antenna. So the output will be given, the RF signal, combined signal will be given to your RF output. Now in this case, if the distance is more than 40 miles apart, okay, then what is the case in between the transmitter and the receiver, you will be needing of uh, several re uh, repeaters, okay. So you have the repeaters here, repeater A and repeater B. For example, if you have uh, the one of the specialty of microwave signal is that it should operate in line of sight, right? So in some instances, due to the mountains, um, buildings, high buildings, there may be uh, no line of sight. So what you will be in that cases, you will be using the repeaters. So here in this example, they are showing two repeaters, repeater A and B, so that there will be a complete line of sight between uh, the transmitter and the receiver through your repeater A, repeater B, etc. and to the receiver. Now what is a repeater microwave receiver and transmitter? It is nothing but a receiver and transmitter uh, antennas placed back to back with the system. Okay, 
So the transmitter will be giving the signal. It will be received by the repeater A. Repeater A will now uh, transmit it to a rep uh, repeater B. Repeater B will receive it and will transmit it to the receiver. So in between you may have mountains, high mountains, hilly areas, uh, sometimes high buildings, etc. Okay. So this is the use of using the uh, repeaters in this case. Now uh, the transmitted signal will be going to the next stage that is your RM, uh, sorry. FM receiver. So in the FM receiver what happens the RF output which was in the previous stage will be uh, uh, accepted or received by the antenna. Uh, receiving this is your receiving antenna which will be given to a channel separator network. So there it was channel combiner here it will be channel separator network which separates and isolates the individual microwave channels and will direct them to your respective receiver the next is your bandpass filter along with your mixer this will be given uh, come uh, the opposite side of your transmitter will be uh, done here there it was up converter here it will be a down converter now this rf signal will be converted into a if signal so band after band limiting through a bandpass filter it will be given to the same mixer and microwave generator where it will be mixing and it will be down converting that is the input rf signal will be now converted into if signal then this IF signal which is obtained which is mixed and separated will be I, uh, amplified. This IF amplifier along with the IM detector will be acting as a demodulator. Okay. So this demodulator where it separates the signal and it will be given to your de-emphasis uh, circuit which is the opposite to that of your pre-emphasis circuit. So what happens in your de-emphasis circuit the original baseband signal will be uh, uh, separated and you will be getting it as your output okay so this are the these are the various blocks of your uh, fm transmitter and the receiver section by this your module 5 is uh, completed so the notes is available in my telegram channel okay